Hey guys, welcome back to Marketing Fundas Global. I hope you are doing great today. Well guys, this is the 11th video in this MS PowerPoint course. And in this video, I'm going to tell you about how to practice PowerPoint presentation. Well guys, if you want to present your PPT in front of your audience, you have to practice first. You have to rehearse first so that you can seamlessly present your PPT in front of your audience. And to do that, PPT or MS PowerPoint has already given an option how to rehearse. And using that option, you can rehearse your presentation. You can rehearse your PPT so that you can present seamlessly in front of your audience. Let's get into the video without any further ado. So guys, we have already started our PowerPoint presentation software and this is the slide which we have, I mean, this is the PPT which we have used in our previous video. Okay, so to rehearse this PPT, we have to first click on our slideshow menu over here, as you can see, just uh, after the animation option. But let me tell you one thing, I'm using MS PowerPoint 2019 version. And if you have the earlier version, maybe you couldn't find this option in this particular place. But you have to uh, find this option here in there in the software because every option is available in particular versions you just have to find the option if it is not in the slideshow uh, menu because microsoft haven't added or removed any important uh, option which can be used to create or to enhance your ppt okay so if you are using the previous version you have to find the rehearse timing option okay and if you do have the 2019 version you are good to go you just have to click on slideshow then click on rehearse timing and once you click on rehearse timing your animation or the ppt will be started and if you hover your cursor over here you will be able to see that this is recording over here and this is the actual timing this is the i mean the actual slide timing which you have added in your uh, particular slides or in your particular animation transitions right so this is the actual timing that's showing over here. And then we have the timing which we are taking to create or to rehearse this uh, particular presentation. Okay. Which means this is the actual time which we are taking. And this is the time which uh, the slideshow has already set. Okay. And if I press the space button in my keyboard, the animation or the slide is going on. As you can see here. Okay, now let me tell you one thing that why it is important to rehearse or to practice your particular PPT. It is important because every time when you uh, present your presentation, I mean, when you present your PPT in front of your audience and you are in the stage or you are in front of your audience, every time it is not possible to click your press or I mean, click your mouse. Every time it is not possible to use your mouse or to use your keyboard to press the button in order to change the slide or in order to explain your presentation. And that looks too unprofessional okay so in this case or in that case we use remote control okay so that we can change the slides we can change the content of the slides by that particular remote and if in case you don't have the remote as well then we can use this rehearse timing option so that we can record the whole presentation we can record the whole ppt and we can present that ppt in front of your audience and you will be get habitual with that particular recording so that you can finish your speech or you can finish your content within that timing. I hope you are getting my point, right? So that's why this practicing presentation is important so that you can practice your presentation one again and again and again. Then you can present your presentation or present your PPT in front of your audience with a bang. Okay, now let me finish this PPT properly. Okay. So these are the animations which we have uh, used in our previous video. If you don't know how to add the animations in your PPT, you can add or you can refer to our previous, previous video. So the presentation is finished now and if I press the space button once again, it will show me the timing that how much time did I took to rehearse or to practice this particular PPT and the timing is 3 minutes 44 seconds. It is a pretty low, I mean it is a pretty low timing because I want to understand you everything. I don't want to practice this PPT, right? 
that's why i took only 3 minutes 44 seconds otherwise it goes up to 15 minutes 20 minutes or in some case 25 30 minutes as well okay now if i click on press i will be go back to my slides over here now let's say i want to check how much time did i took in particular these particular slides like how much time did i took in this slide how much time uh, time did i took in this slide so in order to check that you have to click on the view button and after clicking on view button this is the here is the option slide shorter okay we do have one more option i mean the if you want to uh, access the slide show shorter option you can if you are not able to find the slide shorter option over here you can click on this small icon over here in the right hand side of your uh, powerpoint software this is the slide shorter these two options works the same okay let me click on this and you will be able to see that how much time did you took in particular slides okay in this one i took 41 seconds in this one i took 2 minutes 33 seconds then 1 second 9 second 10 second and so on and so forth okay so i hope you understood each and everything that why you should practice or rehearse your presentation before presenting your ppt in front of your audience and if you still have any question or query please comment down below i'll answer those questions and if you like this video please hit that subscribe and like button i'll meet you in the next video till then bye bye